afternoon or good morning maybe if it's morning at the time you are seeing this because I will teach you in this video how to prepare a Turkish coffee so first of all for a Turkish coffee you need a pot like this or with similar uh, shape and size it doesn't need to be such a traditional pot but um, this one is cobalt pot and it gives uh, the Turkish coffee a very special uh, kind of, um, of flavor so um, please remember that a Turkish coffee doesn't mean that the coffee originates uh, from Turkey it is made for uh, from coffees that grow in um, anywhere in the world in countries that typically grow coffee but it is a very typical way of preparing and serving coffee for the Turkish culture people from other Balkan countries or other Middle uh, East countries may get offended because I, I use the term Turkish coffee uh, because uh, this type of preparing of coffee usually has its own uh, name by the country in which you prepare it so in example in Greece this will be a typical uh, Greek coffee in Bulgaria it will be Bulgarian coffee in Bosnia it will be considered Bosnian coffee so in advance please take no offense uh, due to uh, technical reasons and due to my culture and tradition I will um, um, just uh, name this uh, coffee Turkish uh, coffee because that is what I uh, I'm used to no offense taken please so what else do you need for a good Turkish coffee you need a, a cup a small cup open enough so not a, 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 a tiny espresso cup but something that looks more like this uh, with a nice uh, uh, mat under it so in a matching uh, more preferably and you need a little spoon and then you need to add water in this cup so this is like one one tiny size uh, um, a pot so if you make more coffees you make them one by one or in a larger pot obviously so um, uh, you want to fill this pot with uh, tap water all the way up to the line I will do that right away okay so there it is the water is all the way up to the line and I will just put it on the stove and put the fire on like this and keep the handle on the side not in the middle like this because then my handle would get very hot and I couldn't touch it once it's done and th this type of coffee needs to really uh, get you, um, uh, you, you you cannot just miss it you cannot just leave it alone because it will come out of the pot once it is done so you have to sit next to it and be very fast to act this is my handmade coffee uh, coffee uh, holder so this is the box in which I put all my Turkish coffee and there it is it, it is just like espresso but very finely grounded you see it's very very fine it uh, it uh, its consistency is almost like flour like flour so yeah and then you get like for this amount of of water and this size of of coffee you get like one full uh, full spoon like this like very full spoon and you try to carefully add it inside the coffee so now i spill a bit on the fire and it starts burning and smoking this is not supposed to happen if you uh, drink sweet coffee you can add the sugar in this phase or add it later and yes here you try to just mix it so you make sure that it is mainly uh, dissolved in the water and now what you do you put the spoon back to the you wash the spoon obviously and you wait for the coffee to rise so we, we call this a rising because it will actually come out of the of the pot if you're not very careful it, this doesn't take long it depends on the uh, fire but this is 
number nine here you see so it doesn't take very long it actually heats up very very fast the funny thing about this kind of coffee is that once you drink it you can um, turn the cup down on this and um, wait for it for all the liquid uh, parts to, to come down and then when it dries a bit you can tell your fortune uh, inside so if you haven't done this you may want to google um, fortune telling on Turkish coffee and uh, you can uh, see what the main signs uh, the main symbols that that will appear actually might mean so now we wait just a little more you see there are little bubbles coming out and the top part is getting like thicker we call this kaimak it's the kaimak of the coffee and get your cup ready because your coffee is definitely ready i'm turning the fire off and you see how it rises and it will spill if you don't pick it up immediately and serve it immediately in your cup there it is all the way down I will wash this now but first let me show you my magnificent cup of Turkish coffee in the sun there it is nice color go hope this inspires you to make your own Turkish coffee I hope you can easily find them in the store it is all nice very caffeinated this one uh, ha uh, the, the, uh, the coffee beans are not filtered so when you drink it uh, you need not to drink all the way because otherwise it might hurt your stomach so uh, the thing, the remainings of coffee that will stay in the capsule or in the espresso machine or in the filter if you're using a filter, they are not in the pot. They are just in your cup and you need to just leave them in the end for fortune telling, not drink them all the way up. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.